you've got to read this. Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds is a ghost story. Will Holloway is 15 years old and lives in public housing projects of an unnamed city. His brother Sean was killed right in front of him, shot to death, coming home from the corner store. Now, Will has to apply the three rules he and everyone he knows lives by. One, no crying. Two, no snitching, no matter what. Three, revenge. If someone you love gets killed, you find that person who did it and you kill them. His brother Sean lived by those rules, so Will knows what he's supposed to do. He gets the gun Sean had stashed and decides to find Carlson Riggs and kill him for killing Sean. Maybe decides is the wrong word, because Will doesn't feel like he has a choice. Rule number three, it's an obligation he cannot excuse himself from. So he puts the gun in the waistband of his pants and gets on the elevator on the 8th floor of his apartment building. And that's where the story takes a surprising turn. Someone gets on at the 7th floor. It's Sean's best friend, Buck. Buck was like an older brother to Sean. He was the one who gave Sean the gun and taught him how to use it. Except, Buck is dead. This is his ghost. But this ghost can light a cigarette. He can take the gun away from Will to see how many bullets are in it. He asks questions that makes Will clarify exactly what he's planning to do and why. Will says he's going to follow the rules. And then, as he takes that long downward journey towards the lobby, Will is visited by other ghosts. Will is the perfect name for this character because he faces a choice. He can follow the rules or break them. He has a will, you know, like willpower. What's he going to do about his brother's murder? This award-winning book never gets preachy, but it makes the reader think about the rules. What do they really mean? What are the results of this inflexible code he's expected to live by? What are the consequences of those actions? What are the consequences of those consequences? One of the first things you'll notice about the book is that it's laid out on the pages, a few short lines on each page, like free verse poetry. It is poetry, and it can be read like poetry, but it mainly feels like a story. Try a few pages and see what you think. Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds.